With more than 70,000 spectators piling through the gates over the week, it's no wonder the Horse of the Year competition brings in around $11.5 million annually. In terms of direct spend, uh, about $11.5 million come into the region through Horse of the Year over the, the, the duration of the week. And what's happened is the event has gone from pretty modest beginnings in 1999 to what you see today with, what, 1,800 competitors, 2,600 horses. Now in its 59th year and the 13th consecutive show for the Hawke's Bay, the Horse of the Year competition continues to grow. With over a half a million dollars of prize money at stake, there's no wonder why the best of the best come to Hawke's Bay to compete at one of the largest Southern Hemisphere equestrian events, the Horse of the Year. With over 100 judges and 2,500 rider combinations, the competition will be fierce. 24 year old Katie McVean is the golden girl of New Zealand equestrian competition. Last year's Bell T Olympic Cup winner is back again with her talented steeds. So can you tell us how you went last year here at Hoy? I actually had a fantastic show last year. Corofino yeah. won the Norwood Gold Cup, um, Daffodil won the Lady Rider and Delphi won the Horse of the Year, so <laughs> I don't think it's possible to have as good a show again. <laughs> Which competitions are you competing in? The Norwood Gold Cup today, the Silver Fern Stakes and the Horse of the Year. And although Katie might be heading straight back overseas after the event, she says Horse of the Year is right up there with the best international competitions. It's huge for me, it's such a fantastic show for New Zealand. I think it's hard for people overseas to realise that we have a show just as good as anywhere else in the world. It's fantastic for us and like for our horses to get experience like an international show is great. Another rider here with hopes of snatching the title away from McVean is cheeky Aussie Billy Raymond. He took out the Silver Fern Stakes last year and he's back for more. Billy says he wants to use the event as a step towards competing at the 2012 London Olympics. We're just about to start the Norwood Gold Cup, which is the first main class of the week. If the horses jump well in that, then it's a matter of sort of making plans after that. And, you know, we'll get confidence from that class. If they jump well, we sort of get the confidence that they're up to jumping at that level and hopefully keep planning from there for the Olympics. Over the six days of the competition, 18 different disciplines will be competed in 28 different arenas. From show jumping to mounted games, the event caters for all. And with 59 years under its belt, this is the first time a para equestrian category has been included. Jenny Affleck was born without her left arm from below the elbow. As a child, she dreamed of being able to compete in an event like this. Born with it from birth, they don't know how or why, it was just one of those rare things that happened, but I don't know any difference, so it's, it's been normal to me right from day one, and there's nothing I can't do. I plait my own horse and do everything myself, so it's just normal. Now this is the first year that the Horse of the Year has um, involved para-equestrian in it. What does that mean to you? Um, it's just inclusion in the biggest show that Equestrian Sport New Zealand run. And it was held at the World Equestrian Games last year for the first time under FEI. So it's becoming fully inclusive worldwide. So it's good that New Zealand's jumped on board, so to speak, and running with it as well. And next plan is to head to Hartbury in England in July. and attend a three-star qualifier to score, um, secure a certificate of capability for London and then we will come back to New Zealand, based in New Zealand, with the plan of moving to the UK for about six months next year and riding and building towards London, attending events in Europe in the lead up to, to try and secure a selection for London. Whether you're riding at Olympic level or just starting out, the Horse of the Year caters to all riders. 15-year-old Annika Brody from Auckland is a part of the Dressage Young Rider Mentor Program. The program selects 12 young riders from throughout New Zealand to help prepare them for events like this. So I hear you competed earlier this morning, how did that go for you? Yeah, good. I came third in my class, which I was pretty happy with, but it's only a warm-up test so we'll have to see how it goes tomorrow. A week filled with excitement and entertainment as the best of the best battle it out for their respective titles. Everyone watching and competing at Horse of the Year are truly experiencing something very special. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.